we have another target, but it's actually so faint, I'm not even gonna attempt to try to get you guys to hear it. I don't even know if it's worth trying to get, but... Uh, one sec. Okay, so I can see it. It's a piece of gold, and the reason why I think it was so faint is because of how deep it is stuck in that rock. Right in there. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. All right, so when you are on the hunt for gold, there are just so many ways you can go about it. You can use a gold pan to find gold. You can use a sluice box. You can use a mask and snorkel. That's my personal favorite. Or you could use a metal detector. I have actually found my biggest piece of gold using one and I feel like these are tools that are highly underestimated. Now, typically the first thing I do when I find a new place to hunt for gold is I metal detect the entire area because sometimes there will be a piece of gold sitting out in plain sight that you would not notice unless your metal detector swung over it. Since I've only had this gold claim for a little over a week now, I haven't been able to detect it. So I think today will be a good day to get that out of our system and hopefully find something amazing. Let's make our way downstream. Okay, so the reason why I'm choosing to come downstream is because I was here yesterday, unfortunately, without my cameras, and I was mining under the water, and just over here, I found a little over three grams of gold working along these cracks under the water. Now, I don't think there's gonna be any reason why there shouldn't be any gold up here on this bench or the bench over there. So anyways, let's just uh, get to swinging. So I found a lard, a f lard, <laughs> loud signal in here. It almost sounds too loud to be anything but a nail. Let's see if you can hear it. It's not so loud without the headphones, but it is loud. So we're gonna figure out what it is. Sometimes it's easier just to put everything in a pan, then pan it out. <clears throat> Oh, okay. It's in the pan. This should only take a couple seconds to figure out what it is. Gold is super shiny. See, oh, I see that. It's a lead. It's a lead pellet. It's a lead. All right. At least it's something. One more piece of lead out of the river. Right now I'm heading back upstream just because I'm not finding much bedrock uh, downstream, so upstream it is. Okay, I came across a uh, target. I think you guys can hear that right in here. Let's scratch it out, see what it is. Definitely a signal. Could be anything. I found a lot of lead here. I have found gold here. Sometimes you'll see it right away if it is gold because it's so shiny, but. It's still in there. Oh, it is. Here's gold, okay. <laughs> Let me get a close shot for you guys. Okay, so it's right there, right where my finger is pointing. It looks pretty small, but I mean, you never, I, I don't know how big it is, but let's pull it out. Okay, it's stuck in there, so that's a good sign. My tweezers, of course, are not here. Uh, but got it. Uh, come on. Get out of there. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a little, looks like a little picker. There you have it. 
put it in my mouth, then put it in my hand. That's not bad. I'd say maybe a 0.1. <laughs> Neat. My first piece of detected gold on this claim, so that's uh, that's promising. Let's carry on. I shouldn't have turned off the camera because we have another target in the same hole. Now the target I'm receiving now is sounds like it's coming from in between these little rocks. The GoPro, I don't really think you can pick it up. But it's just the more we scratch, the more we'll play. I see gold. <laughs> Got another piece. I think it's too small for me to zoom in with the other camera, so I'm just gonna put it in my hand and try it that way. There we go. <laughs> another piece. I think that's the first time I found two pieces of gold in, in the one little pocket, like about two inches in size. Wow. All right, now let's actually triple check this and then we're gonna carry on. I'm not sure why I keep wanting to move on. I mean, <laughs> this pot is clearly good if I found two pieces of gold in one little crack. What I used to do and how I found my biggest pieces of gold was I used to do this, just crevice, and then I would detect as I went down. So this is all shallow bedrock. I might as well clean up all the gravel off here and then give that a give that a swing so I just cleared up all the overburden over here I went over it with the detector no targets but I have a target in the pan so let's go see if it pans out for us so three micro poop pieces of candy. I don't think any of those were the signal I had in the pan originally. So we either lost it or it was just a piece of hot rock or something. But let's keep going. Okay, after doing some CSI investigation, I found another target. And it's actually, I think the loudest signal we've had all day. I am gonna do what the professionals do in Australia and that's use my little happy face scoop and do that little swing thing, one sec. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. There she is. It's just a bullet, but I did it right. That was actually a lot quicker and easier than I thought it would be. But it's just a little, I believe, 22 bullet. A few little rings on it. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen minutes later, <laughs> I got to the very bottom of this little thing, did a pan, and this is what we came across. Some more flower gold. That's okay. Still finding gold and still happy. Now I know I could probably follow along this crack and just keep going and going and going, but I honestly just don't want to spend a lot of time in one spot. I really like to find the easy targets, especially with a metal detector. So I'm just going to keep walking along this claim and trying to find those easy targets. All right, so that's where we just were. And right here we have another target, but it's actually so faint. I'm not even going to attempt to try to get you guys to hear it and it should be right in this little area I don't even know if it's worth trying to get but uh, one sec okay so I can see it it's a piece of gold and the reason why I think it was so faint is because of how deep it is stuck in that rock I want to see if I can get you guys to see this right in there i can clearly see it but i don't know if my gopro my dslr camera will be able to see it i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna get that one out i mean these two pieces right here look like they can pop off but with this tool yeah i'm gonna have to look through my bag and see if i can't find my tweezies okay i found a knife i should walk around like this like i'm in a game uav online Okay, let's see if I can't get this guy out. I don't want to scratch it either. Oh, there we go. Ah, <laughs> yay! <laughs> I love that. That is so cool. Oh, not very big, but it's a nugget. A little, well, I guess a picker, but yay! Uh.
That's just the coolest thing when you can find these out in nature like that. I call it nature's jewelry. Let's see what it looks like in the pan. Nice. Okay, let's put that in the snuffle. So heading up upstream, I'm greeted with my friend camera shy. <laughs> and he's actually doing better than I am, I think. Check that out. Two obvious pickers, one could be a nugget. I mean, I don't know when I start classifying them as nuggets, but big pickers. That's awesome, and he's just crevicing. He's actually just crevicing under the water here using um, a little homemade sucker, sucker dredge and, you know, keeping it legal. So I think I'm gonna stick around in this area for the rest of the day, because if camera shy is doing that well, um, I, there's no reason why I can't do that well with a melt detector. And I actually see a lot of crevices and a lot of areas I can actually go and explore now. So, some of you who have been following me for a long time now, you guys are waiting for me to go explore that cave that I have on uh, one of the claims there, or even scuba dive the pool underneath the waterfall. Now, both of those will happen. The cave area, it's closed right now, I can't access it, so it, maybe in the future at some point we'll do that. But then the waterfall at the pool, sorry, the, <laughs> the pool at the waterfall. Uh, I'm waiting for my safety diver to come and get here, and he'll be here probably next week sometime, so that's when we're gonna go head up there and film that. So in the meantime, I just thought I would do some metal detecting and so far we're doing all right. Look what I just found. Uh, a pulley. Ah! I got a little boo-boo. I better go home. This pulley was probably used to move big rocks, also known as a come along. To move some of the big boulders out of the center of the river so people can get down and work it. Probably from the old timers, but I don't know how old that is. Doesn't look very old. Let me know in the comments. So I came across another target in this shallow bedrocky area. Uh, where is it? Oh. I'm sure you guys can hear that. It's pretty loud. So we're just gonna uncover it. If it's gold, that'll be awesome. But if it's not, it's gonna be less awesome. Woo! That's exciting. Where is it? Is it gold? Where are you? Oh. Ah, dang it. <laughs> it's a piece of a nail. So up here in this bush, I have another little signal. It sounds like gold. Gold sounds just like lead and it sounds like lead or gold, so we're gonna have to get to it. Come on, get stuck in the bush. It's, it's hard to tell. Uh, that's awkward, but it's hard to tell, but it sounds like it's up in this corner. Right here. Oh, sorry, I'm not even, not even pointing to where I wanna go. So it's in this general area. Um, I'm not gonna bother trying to pinpoint with the detector because it's just, it's too awkward of an area. I'm just gonna dig all this out and pan it. There it is. There it is right there. A nice little piece of poop. <laughs> piece, of can piece of candies. <laughs> I don't know how I made that. Here's a closer shot. <laughs> Not sure how I mix those two words up. But that's a piece of gold. That's a freaking awesome. We're doing pretty good. Just gonna pick her up. Uh, come on. Oh, it's, it's a fat piece. That's cool. Here, let me just clean it. Uh, just dropped it. There you are. So there we have it. Another piece of gold. There's a lot of gold here. Especially along this side of the river. I found a 5.8 gram nugget upstream and I found a 7.5 quarter ounce nugget downstream, both along this side on the river and uh, up high on a bench, just like what we're doing now. There is also a lot of garbage, but that's okay because it's lead, it's nails, it's everything heavy. And gold is heavy, so if you're finding lead, nails, and all that kind of stuff, uh, you're working where the gold's gonna drop out too. Okay, this has happened to me many times before. I put down the camera, I go for a walk just so I don't have to carry everything. 
and then I find a piece of gold. <laughs> Look where this one is though. Uh, right in here. <laughs> you can see that. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'll do a close-up shot. Yeah, so I don't know how big it is. I just scratched it out and honestly I didn't even use my my headphones. They died. So I've just been using this and this is the first piece of gold I found without using my headphones. So let's pick it up. Okay, yeah, it's not that. Not a picker. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> and again, look where it is, up high on these benches. This is where I've always had my luck. So I think next time I mail detect here, I'm just gonna go work a little bit higher. As long as the bedrock is exposed, that is. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. I just heard camera shy whistle at me from afar. So that's code word for let's go, Polly. So let's giddy up, get back to the house and have a closer look of what we found today. It didn't work. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so we went out there to look for gold and we came back with gold. So today was a very good day. Now this metal detector doesn't go very deep. It only goes maybe five or six inches deep. But I have a new metal detector coming in that will actually punch a lot deeper. So we will be able to get those deeper and hopefully bigger gold targets. But anyways, I'll show you the gold that we found today. So like I always say, not tea bag, not one not two but five little gold nuggets that's awesome for mail detecting and when you mail detect that's what you're going to come across but don't get too excited because when you are mail detecting you will come across bullets lead square nails and everything else but that's a good thing because it means you are cleaning the river and making your next hunt even better let's weigh the gold now here's piece number one point two Piece number two, point two two. Number three, point one one. Number four, point two nine. Yeah, that's, that's looking better. And for the last piece, let's guess one point five. Point two, oh, there's a lot of twos. All right, so let's weigh the rest of this stuff see if we got 14 ounces or something that would be I don't know $28,000 total take today is 1.05 grams so I think a little over I don't know 60 bucks so eight hours on the river making $60 in that eight hours is it worth it it, it really depends who you ask, but it's worth it for me because I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the adventure. And the only reason why I'm telling you how much money I'm finding when I'm out there, gold versus the dollar value, is because some of you just want to know and just generally curious. But anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like, comment, or even subscribing. I also have a social media open if you guys are interested to see anything else extra, any behind the scenes stuff. And if you want to support the channel even further, like wear my logo, I have a store open, but I won't hold you to that. I love you all anyways. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until next one, I... we'll see you later. UAV online.